hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing really well um so as you can probably tell i am in a slight different location today i'm actually sat in my office because it is the most miserable grey grizzly day today as you can probably tell by how, how dark it is in here and i have actually got my ring light on as well which i never use a ring light i always always use natural lighting but today there was no other option um so if the lighting looks a little bit off that is why um but for today's video i am finally going to be showing you a before and after of the buy to let property that we bought back in 2020 um i say back in 2020 it literally was a few months ago i think we completed in october um so it really hasn't been that long um but basically a little bit of background information for those of you that are new here um we purchased a semi-detached semi-detached or end of terrace i don't know if there's two or three in a row anyway it's a three bedroom house and we viewed it back in july um really liked it saw a lot of potential um, i've actually got some pictures that i'm going to kind of pop up on the screen of what it looked like when we viewed it so you can see a proper kind of before and after um, but it was just a very kind of simple house. It was an elderly lady lived there before, so you can see it is very dated, but it was super looked after, like it was so clean. Um, and yeah, it obviously been really, really looked after, but it just needed a full kind of bit of a revamp. I will also insert a little bit of footage as well, so you can kind of see the before footage in comparison to how it looks now. Um, but basically we completed in October and then Lou spent about five or six weeks I was going to say renovating it, but more kind of like zhuzhing it up a little bit. So we put in a new kitchen, painted carpets um, and just flooring, bit, bits and bobs really, just to kind of get it ready to rent out. Um, but the reason Lou only had five weeks to do it is because a close friend of his asked if he could move in at the end of November for about a month. He basically sold his house and had bought a new one that was kind of like in between houses. He's got three children and him and his partner were like, they didn't have anywhere to live for a month. So they asked if they could move into this property, which was fine. It kind of just gave Lou a massive kick up the arse to get it done. Um, and they've moved out now. They moved out at the end of December um, and it's currently empty, but we do have people moving in at the end of this month, which is really good. Um, but it just meant that in the kind of footage that I filmed back in November, it wasn't completely finished. There was no knobs on the kitchen um, doors because they hadn't arrived yet, but they are, they are on now. So when I show you the kitchen, I'll insert a picture of that so you can see how it's looking. Oh, and also at the top of the stairs, there was no carpet either. Basically the guy that did the carpet for us, he told us the measurements of what we needed to order. We ordered what he told us to order. And then when it came to putting the carpet down, he cut the wrong bit, meaning that the bit he'd allowed for the hallway, he'd then cut. So that's basically why in the footage, there wasn't any carpet in the hallway. But again, that's been sorted now. We've got carpet down. But I just wanted to give that little bit of kind of background information to explain a few bits and pieces. Um, but anyway, quick footage of what it looked like when before i know you've already seen it but a little bit of an update so you can kind of see the before and after so obviously the kitchen was yellow and very dated um so that got completely gutted and has been up oh oh that's the other thing i wanted to quickly mention you may know this if you've seen previous vlogs um but the kitchen isn't exactly what we well what i was expecting this is just typical Lou. Um, we went to Howden's, we looked at kitchens, we picked the one we wanted, um, we kind of like went sort of back and forth, and I decided on like a charcoal grey shaker style kitchen, um, which we then ordered, well Lou kind of ordered, because he was, he was sort of in control of it, it was his project, even though I was making like the aesthetical, aesthetic decisions, he was in control of it. Anyway, we selected the kitchen, and then I, and then Lou ordered it, put it all in, did the flooring, got it all done. He kind of wanted me to go and see it when the kitchen was all done so I could be like, oh, brilliant. Like it's sort of like everything was done and it was like a nice difference to see. Uh, <laughs> so we did that. Um, I went to view it about, a uh, view it. I went to see the kitchen a few weeks later um, and I walked in and I was like, mate, this, this is the wrong kitchen. This, is, this isn't the kitchen we ordered. This isn't the kitchen we, and he was like, are you joking? And I was like, no. We went for a shaker style. This is not the kitchen. What? What? And he was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Anyway, 
basically what had happened is the first time he went to get a quote for the kitchen, the lady had said to him, um, oh, uh, he said to the lady, like, oh, we'll just stick this one anyway. I don't know what we want yet because my girlfriend will choose all that, but I'll stick this one on just to get the quote done. Um, did all of that and then when he went to pay for it, he kind of like went back to the original quote to change things and so that kitchen was ordered. <laughs> So the kitchen we have, we didn't actually select. I wanted something similar, dark, grey, but shaker style. So anyway, that that wasn't quite what we selected. But yeah, that is everything that I wanted to say before I show you how it looks. Um, like I said, I will insert quickly now a before a bit of before footage so you can see how it looked. Um, but obviously the kitchen was yellow. Um, and then the living room was... What colour was the living room? Let me just check the pictures. Completely forgotten. Um, oh, the living room was kind of cream anyway, but obviously it had that border around it and it looked kind of like a bit more dated. And then the upstairs, obviously there was that red carpet on the stairs, which wasn't ideal, and on the landing as well. Um, and then the bedrooms were kind of like, I think one was blue. Um, I think that one was bluey green as well. Um, and just, yeah, just a little bit dated, a little bit kind of tired looking and needed a really quick whiz up. So that is exactly what Lou did. And this is how it's looking now. So as you come in the front door, on the right hand side is the little toilet. This hasn't changed at all. In fact, I don't think, I don't think anything's changed in there. We are talking about maybe changing it in future, putting a different wallpaper up and um, some changing the floor. But at the moment we've just decided to leave it. Um, and I do think it's quite cute. And then on, oh, this is new flooring here. We've got some new laminate flooring down here. Went for just like a neutral kind of, yeah, rather than going gray, we just went for quite a neutral flooring there. And then this is the new kitchen. Now we haven't got knobs on yet. We're still waiting for them to arrive. So Lou's just popped these little bits of sticky tape on there um, so that we can open and close the drawers and knobs, but there will be there will obviously be knobs and some cup handles there. Um, but yeah, looks so, so different. Went for lino on the floor rather than tiles. Um, and it actually reminds me of what we've got in our utility room at home, but obviously a lot cheaper and easier to do. And it, it's really effective at the same time. I think it looks really good. Um, I actually really like the kitchen now. Obviously it wasn't what I expected it to be because I was originally wanting shaker style doors, but I quite like the way it looks um, and obviously once the knobs are on it will look a lot better and um, the worktop is just kind of like a faux marble and I quite like the fact that it's quite a subtle print on there there's not too much not too much going on um, we've got the same tiles that we had in our first house at home we actually had a couple of spare boxes of them so I think we ended up using what we had left over from our first house we just went for a simple stainless steel sink and chrome tap just because we thought, well, I, pref I wanted to go for a ceramic sink, but I thought for a rental, there's no point spending extra money on things like that. And then <laughs> the boiler didn't get completely covered, but it has been boxed in at the bottom. So these, all the pipe work has been boxed in behind here. Um, and actually, I don't think it looks too noticeable. Like I did want to, I did want to cover it, but we compromised. <laughs> and the compromise was to box in the pipes, but there's still like a little bit of work top here, which can be used if need be. And then if we go back into the hallway, um, this is obviously the living room. We didn't end up changing the floor in here. Again, because it's a rental, we just didn't think it was worth changing, but the walls have been painted in Valspar New York City winter, which is the same color we've got in our bedroom at home. And it's just a really lovely kind of pale, neutral gray. Um, freshens it up, all the woodwork's been painted white, the ceilings have all gone white, um, and yeah just freshened it up in here. And then if I come out to the conservatories, you can see out here we've got the same floor that we've got in the hallway. I did want this floor to carry on all the way through here, but Lou just said, because, because it's a rental, it's just not worth redoing this whole room, because it is quite a big room. Um, but I do quite like the tone of this laminate, and it was so affordable as well. I think it was eight pound a square meter. Um, and again, we didn't end up painting in here just because we thought the colour in here, if I show you from here, we just thought the colour in here was again just very non-offensive. So we've left it in here. We just need to get a little light to go up here. Um, and that's about it in here. Nothing as much has changed. Um, outside, Lou has changed the decking to patio and then popped these down here. But we do need to get some grass. We're just deciding whether to go for 
artificial grass or normal grass um, but the decking was just really slippery so we thought that having a patio was better um, and it just kind of neatens it up out there and then if I show you the living room from this angle you can just see it's nice and clean neutral just sort of just been really freshened up um, the banister has been painted white and then the top oh walked into the wall um, the banister has been painted white and then this bit's been painted black and then if we go upstairs you can see that there is new carpet here really really soft carpet it feels lovely um and we kind of just went for a mid again mid sort of beigey gray just very neutral i know it kind of looks gray on camera but it's it was called i think it was called beige gray or something like that online i thought that way it goes with all color schemes um we do need to get the hallway done because not hallway landing landing done because the order wasn't quite right so we didn't have enough for the landing um but if i show you in this little room first so this is the smallest bedroom and this was the one that was the study and it had all the bits up on the wall um so obviously they came down and it was painted in just walnut this is dulux just walnut it's kind of like let me show you from the other side because the sun's making everything look darker so yeah the walls are painted in dulux just walnut which is kind of like a very warm neutral gray beige um obviously the same carpet in here as we've got in the hallway and then if I come back out onto the landing, this is one of the bedrooms. Oh, it's so hard to show you with the sunlight. It's a beautiful day outside, but because the sunlight's coming into the room, it's making it look really dark in here, when in fact it's really, really bright. Um, the only thing that hasn't been done yet is the radiators haven't been painted. Lou wants to just give them a coat of paint and brighten them up, because they look a bit, you can tell, compared to the fresh woodwork and the skirting, they look a little bit yellow. And then this is the third bedroom. And again, fresh carpet, fresh paintwork. Um, on the walls in here is Egyptian cotton and it's just a really nice, quite a mid to mid sort of beigey gray again. Um, the wardrobes have been painted. We do need to get some handles on there as well. So I think Lou's gonna go and grab them this afternoon and pop those on. Then the bathroom looks exactly the same as it did before. Nothing's changed in here at all, apart from this has come down the uh, heater that was there but apart from that i don't think anything's changed so that is how it is looking now as you can see lou has done an amazing job he worked so hard for five weeks he literally like cracked it out and yeah he's done a really good job even if he did order the one kitchen <laughs> um if you've got any questions at all or if i forgot to mention anything then just leave a comment and i will get back to you if you've got any questions about anything um, and also I forgot to show you the front garden as well, which has been completely cleared and we've got sort of stones out the front now and a bench out there, um, just to make it more manageable because there was quite a lot of trees and bushes and we thought, well, Lou thought that if it kind of was a bit more manageable, it'd be easier to manage. <laughs> um but if you did enjoy the video please do give it a thumbs up um even if it's just for lou if not for me give it a thumbs up for lou <laughs> um, but yeah thank you so much for watching um hopefully we will be doing another project this year at some point um that is the that is the aim but who knows we'll see we'll see um but yeah thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you again in my next video bye